everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and I thought I would review NVIDIA. I traded this this morning. Went and left to the gym, came back and lo and behold it's 2 o'clock and this actually went to really the dream target. Well, the dream target was 20. So I can't, well this went to close to the dream target. Let's put it that way. <laughs> 2050 which was a target I wrote in the room this morning. And I did say $20, $20 is a dream target, which it's not gonna get to now because it's Friday and it's two o'clock. But this had a beautiful move in the day, gorgeous. So let's go over it. What could you have done with this and what did I originally do with this? Let's go back. The morning play was really great though. You could have been very aggressive in this though in the afternoon, but I would have had to be here, sitting here. Taking a trade on a Friday afternoon, which when it's 80 degrees and beautiful out is little chance of that happening. <laughs> Anyways, NVIDIA opened, rallied, rallied up to here, held beautiful selling coming into this positioning here after the rally. I don't short every rally. Something has to meet the criteria. What's the criteria? The Golden Gap 26 point rating system. This gap rated more than 20 points. So I decided I'd look to watch it to short on the day because it was a gap down. This is a large rally. Let's got to point that out. Okay, it's almost a buck. Off of 21 is the low. Open at 2101, bounced off at 21. Look at this, okay? Then I took it in here, stopped here, dropped here, could have done an ad here, which I did, and fell. Now, when I did the ad, I lowered the stop. This was a nice, nice, nice move here in the morning. I got out of this at 91, two pennies from the morning low. That was a great call. More than three R's, and with the ad, it was even better than that. You need to know how to do ads, which I teach in the entry class, actually, not the Golden Gap class. But if you don't know how to do them, you could take them on my direction in the room, which I do think a lot of people do in the room, actually. But that was a good way to maximize this. Because I was looking to kind of scalp this today in the morning, meaning quickly, quickly, quickly and get out because it was Friday afternoon. And I also knew that the market was bullish today, which it was and it is. If you had the patience, really, to stay with this thing, here is the entry on the late morning or afternoon move into lunch. I mean, this is pretty spectacular if you played it right. Although I'm sure, you know, you really, you'd really you have to know how to do this again, which I, which I do. But I just didn't do this because I wasn't sitting here watching at 11 o'clock. But here it is. If I had been sitting here watching it, I would have seen it. And then it went and just fell off a cliff. And you'd be looking to get out right in here into these numbers. And it hit the target of 2050. <clears throat> so one of the things is when you're trading a gap and you're in the trade, you need to know, number one, where is your entry? Where are you putting your stop? How much money are you risking, dollars and cents in the trade? and what kind of move you're looking for as far as the risk to reward, and you need to know your exit. So when I get up in the morning and I rate my gap, I'm looking for specific criteria in the gap first that gives me the pick. The pick today for me was NVIDIA. I said this would work. I was right. I knew this was the best thing to watch, and actually as far as shorts go today, this is the only thing that worked right in the morning as a, as, as a short, and it even continued in the afternoon, which just shows how good and quality of the gap that it was. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, I fill out the sheet in the morning, have everything figured out and situated, but then you still have to watch the stock on the live day. It takes a little bit of knowing, okay, knowing what to look for. Now, how do you know that? Because you have it all figured out ahead of time. So you figure it all out ahead of time. That gives you the conviction. Then you still have to watch on the live day for the setup because I'm not in a pre or post market. And then you know what you're looking for when it happens live to take it, okay? Because the morning trade, for example, hit very hard, early and quick, and you had to get it good. And that afternoon one worked, the late morning one worked, but it, it might not have. So I always look to get the morning quick ones. And in an ideal world, in an ideal perfect Melissa Armo world, I literally take every trade in the morning quickly and I'm out of it within 30 minutes or less and make more than three hours. So that's my ideal world. And I do that often enough. Today was one of those days. However, if you did play NVIDIA, again, if you knew how to play it right, it had a beautiful risk to reward for a late trade if you hit it. 
and it was a nice, nice gap, which is how I needed to do this pick to begin with. There was tons of things gapping down this morning, though. There really was, particularly with what the market was doing. But the fact is that I knew that this was the best. So I'm very happy with my day. And we'll go over the afternoon trade here, the late morning trade in the room on Monday. I would completely be out of NVIDIA by now. It's over here. It's 2.10 in the afternoon on a Friday. But this was a great call by me, and it really was the entry. The entry in this in the ad is what really made this look amazing. And, uh, and everybody in the room did it. So congratulations to everyone in the live trading room with me that did it. It was a beautiful call. I am the best out there at entries, calling them, seeing them in live, live time, which I'm able to do. And that's one of the reasons people like to be in the live trading room with me and also learn from me as well. So if you'd like more information about the upcoming Golden Gap course, it is May 16th and 17th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.